Hello guys, my name is Michael Gray and I'm doing my first video in one of my favourite places, Brighton. So you're probably thinking you want to know a little bit more about me. So my name is Michael Gray, I'm 24 years of age, I'm a freelance hairdresser and model. People say, you know, how do you get into that? Or what do you do? I don't, you know, freelance, what, what's it all about? So I'll break it all down so I don't because I like to tell long stories. My friends will literally say, you know, you can't just do, you know, just, you know, just a few sentences or, you know, just, just tell a little bit about yourself. You have to tell your whole life story. Well, yeah, so I started off hairdressing when I was 15 years of age and just started off as a Saturday boy, then went into an apprenticeship and was doing hairdressing full time and then I got introduced to doing pageants. Mr. England, I entered for Mr. Coventry, Mr. Derby, regional heats, went into the finals. And then people started to say, why don't you get into modeling? It's something I never really thought about doing before um, at school. Um, I don't know, I was, I was bullied in some ways, sexuality, had really bad skin, I was a bit bigger and stuff like that. People say, oh, well, that's just, you know, corny or, you know, it's a typical, like, story that people say and stuff. But, but yeah, I, I was a lot different to what I, like, now to then, basically. Um, people were saying to get into it, you'd be really good at it. And it's just trying, like, having the belief, if that makes sense. It's a really hard industry. If you watch, like, America's Next Top Model or, you know, The Face and stuff like that, it's really, it's a really tough industry to be in. And to be honest, I, I really enjoy it. It's, it's been a constant battle. Yeah. So I moved to London in September 2013 to pursue my career modelling. Um, it took me about 16 months to actually get signed to agencies. I was updating my portfolio. I was literally like banging on agencies' doors, you know, saying, you know, how can I get signed to you? How, you know, what can I do? And in the end, I actually um, thank. Thank you, Mum and Dad. Um, they paid for me to have a portfolio done with the model camp, Gary and Lewis. Um, thank you ever so much. Um, little name drop there. Um, but basically, I wouldn't have been able to do it, do it without my parents and without them. <clears throat> actually so paying off good um, I couldn't be any more happier to be honest it's all I've ever dreamt of um, the freelance wise hairdressing yes yeah, so I go to people's houses I um, do weddings I do hair photo shoots I re it's I love the mix people when when people say what do you prefer modeling or hairdressing and do you know what I I just love the diverse in you know what I can do basically um, every day is different today I'm in Brighton doing a modeling job um, yesterday I was doing hair for a photo shoot in Hampstead Heath and then I was doing freelance hairdressing after we people say oh you must you must have like a really fun life it sounds really interesting and um, and in some ways yeah it does sound really exciting but it's really hard work dedication having to chase agencies having to just look out for work always keep on pushing yourself and stuff like that and and I'm one of these people that doesn't give in um, in some ways I feel that it's one of those things I don't know I hate about myself because I hate giving in I hate failing but my mum always said to me as long as you try your best then that's what I ask for at the end of the day so yeah that's probably a little bit about myself you probably hear a lot more bubbles about myself in the next coming videos. So why is Brighton one of my favourite places? One thing I love about Brighton is the sea. Even though it's a pebble beach, um, I love the sea. I love being by water, I love looking out into the sea. It puts, cheesy as it sounds, it actually puts a smile on my face. It relaxes me and I just feel really happy and content. Yeah, I don't know if that's because I'm a Scorpio, water sign. <laughs> Who knows? Um, uh, what else I like about Brighton as well? I love the diversity. Uh, the first time I actually came to Brighton, it was on my 22nd birthday. And I stayed at a friend's house in Hassocks. And yeah, I just randomly came into Brighton, went for something to eat. And I was sitting on the train and I saw this guy and I was just thinking, this guy looks really random. I've never seen anything in my entire life before. It just, just topped up my experience that I probably repeatedly said this story many a times. But basically I saw a guy 
coming onto the train now. He had this bright orange suitcase and he had this tree poking out of it. Never seen anything like it before. I was literally like, what's the I know people say that it's a mini London by the sea. Hmm, I don't know. I get that in some ways, yeah. Because everybody in London's so different. You walk down the street and nobody gives two flying Fs um, what, you know, people dress like, what people look like. Um, and it's pretty much the same here, to be honest. I mean, one of the first times that it's been in the summer um, and it's, well, it was, it was sunny, but now it's gone a little bit grey, like my name. Um, um ooh, cheeky little couple as well. Have a little picture. Shoot. Um, yeah. If you ever get the chance to go to Brighton, it's definitely worth the trip. The lanes, vintage shops, all the quirkiness, all oh, the sun's come back out because I've put my sunglasses on again. Um, yeah, fish and chips, the pier, even though it's a bit dated and cheesy. Um, yeah, the nightlife is really good as well. Really nice bars, nice people, and yeah, I just, I just love Brighton. Love being by the sea. If you want to check out any of my previous hair work, you can follow me on Instagram, Michael Grey Hair, like Fifty Shades of Grey. But yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to a good friend of mine, Sarah Carton, who actually persuaded me to do this video. She was saying, you know, I think it'd be really interesting. You could always sound really busy, always got an interest in life, with modeling, hairdressing, hairdresser trying to get into the modeling world. You always uh, got some funny stories. So yeah, thank you ever so much. I love you long time. My best friend, Sarah. Sarah Carson.